us in ways we cannot see. He will make a way. I want you to prepare yourself and ask yourself, who am I? What do I see? Where am I? Hallelujah. Amen. God doesn't care the tribe where you're born. He only knows because his own daughter, his own son. That is all. Hallelujah. Amen. If it is true, damn is so the end of poverty. You can see. Amen. I say you can see. Amen. I say you can see. Amen. So today, in the name of Jesus, we are going to declare in the book of uh, I've been making declarations of books. In the book of First Samuel, chapter two and verse four, it says, "And God has broken the bows of the mighty man." Did you cast it? The bows of the warrior. Some of you may not be knowing what a bow is. The arrow cannot work without the bow. Mm -hmm. It's the bow that when you stretch, that releases the arrow. So the enemy, the enemy that is holding a bow to stretch his arrow over you, that one we nullify today. Yes. I say we nullify today. Oh, yes. Lift up your hand before the bow. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I make a declaration today. In the name of Jesus, that the bones of the warriors are broken over your life. They are broken over your family. They are broken over your children. They are broken over your marriage. They are broken over your business. They are broken over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Broken, yes. broken. Yes. Pray with me. Say broken, 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 broken. broken. Is the bow that was carrying the arrow to kill me? To kill me. That bow is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Is broken. Is broken. All of my life. All of my life. All of my children. All of my children. All of my marriage. All of my marriage. All of my my family. In the name of Jesus, the power is broken. The power is broken. Give it a good round of praise. Number two, number two, making this declaration. Number two is the book of Psalms. In the name of Jesus, it talks about the horn. Who says, I will cut off the horn of all the wicked, but the horn of the righteous will be lifted up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every horn, a horn is what the cow or the bull uses to kill an opponent. Or to kill the subject, or to kill whoever has been designed to be killed. But today, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God is cutting off the horns of the wicked. I say the horns of the wicked. Over your life, those horns are being cut off. Those horns are being cut off. Your heart of joy, yeah. your heart of victory, yeah. your heart.
Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As your heart is being lifted. Your heart, all frustrations, all limitations that held you tight are broken today. I say they are broken today. They are broken today. In the name of Jesus. Number three. Number three. Jesus says in the book of Matthew 16, verse 19. Matthew 16, verse 19. And I'm doing this because we must keep a tally out of our life. It took a priest by the name Jehoiada who saw the end of a tally. Because the Bible says, that Jehoshiva, one of the stepdaughters of Athalia, went and sneaked the young boy Joash out of the manor and hid him in the temple for six good years. Athalia did not know that there is one that remained to carry the generation where Jesus Christ would emerge from. Because she wanted to wipe it out completely. Every devil. That wants to wipe your generation, wants to wipe your children, wants to wipe your brothers, wants to wipe your sisters, wants to wipe your, your, your parents. In the name of Jesus, I want you to raise up your hand for me. Any devil, any spirit that is starting to wipe, to wipe, to wipe, today, a Savior is going to come that is going to hold. I say the generations to come. Yes. The generations to come. Yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jehovah is a priest. That is a picture of the church. The church we must rise up today and lift up our voices. All the spirit of Athalia that comes for you. The blood of Jesus makes you royal. I say the blood of Jesus makes you royal.
of sickness they are. The Bible says, it can remain a thorn in the flesh, but it shall not kill. Amen. I say it shall not kill. Amen. Just like people who are living with a bullet shot that cannot be removed out of their body, but it is there, but they are living. Yes. So the ears of God determined that you shall live. You will complete those sins. Yeah. I say you complete those sins. Yeah. You shall complete those sins. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. You shall complete those sins. You are not meant to die prematurely. Yeah. The years God has marked for you. Those are the years you shall fulfill. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you are at the bouncing age. When you are hitting a hundred years. You are advanced in age. You have finished the work. Yes. You have done well. Where everybody is satisfied. Songs of praise are sung because it is well. The last one. I want us to pray. The last one. The last one. The book of Genesis 12. Genesis 12. God calls Abraham out of his country, out of his family, out of his father's house. That talks of a curse in the bloodline. A curse in the bloodline that you cannot escape. A pattern that controls your blood. But today, I want us to step over that pattern. I say I want us to step over that pattern. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Step over that pattern. That pattern. Today, and as it was with Abraham, so it shall be with you. Amen. I saw it shall be with you. Amen. As we pray, In other words, is cast in the sun. 
and telling the son, you will not prosper. You will not increase. You will not have a generation. But much later on, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 6, Moses comes across the generation of real men. And he also calls them. And he says, before I go, before I disappear, before I go, before I disappear out of this life, he begins with the real man. Let's look at Deuteronomy 33, verse 6. Let the real man live and not die, not let his men be few. What has he done? He has overturned the curse. I am standing here today. If somebody either in the village or where you are, where you do business, lifted their tongue over you and cast you and cast your children, today I want to overturn. I want to overturn. I say I want to overturn. Lift up your hand where you are. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Like single man, you shall live.